think of sign language as a bridge between nonverbal and verbal communication. I just wanted to do a little check-in. Is everybody seeing the slides and hearing me okay? Okay, <laughs> I always have to check on that. Yep. <laughs> does, any, a... does anybody have any questions right now? No? Okay. All righty, keep going then. Okay, so this is an interesting way to think about it. So um, everybody knows a uh, fine motor. Those are the tiny little motor movements that we make, such as writing and you know using, using our fingertips to do lots of little things in our world, buttoning and zippers and things like that. And then gross motor is you know throwing a ball and walking upstairs and riding a bike. All of those motor movements are developing in our children. And some children at this age develop fine motor first and gross motor comes a little later. Some children develop these gross motor skills right away and their fine motor kind of takes a while to catch up. I think we all know children like that, you know, like, oh yeah, my nephew, he's, you know, nine months old and he's climbing to the top of the cabinet already, but, you know, but he can't hold up. He's not yet able, you know, to do fine motor movements. And just to let you all know, speech is the finest of all fine mo motor movements that we make. So there is so much that goes along with speech. We have our articulators. So those are the parts in our mouth that make all the sounds. So we have our lips and our tongue and our teeth and our soft palate and our hard palate. And when we're speaking, there's so much going on with our articulators in a quick way. So it is the finest motor movement that we have. As opposed to sign, which is a gross motor movement. And so naturally, gross motor imitation, such as clap and clap, or hands up, hands up, that develops first, way before speech. So because of that, what does that make you think of? <laughs> if exposed early enough, kids can sign before they can speak. <laughs> so starting out, and I know, I know we have, you know, a lot of different ages here. We have seven months, three months, and three years old. And you can start signing with your child at any stage that they're in, as early as six to eight months. So there we are, Christara, your seven-month-old baby, right in the middle of that. <laughs> or whenever your child is holding your gaze for a few seconds. So even if, um, you know, your child is three, four years old, you can still start signing to them as long as they're looking at you, right? And they're interested in what you're having to say. Um, and I would recommend starting with about three to five signs that are really motivating to your child and are really words that you're gonna use a lot. So all purpose words. So some of those words, you know, that they're gonna hear and encounter a lot are favorite foods such as milk, things that they do a lot such as eat, <laughs> things that they play with every day like balls, uh, an all purpose word like more. So, well, those are four ones that we can just start right now. <laughs> um, and you all might know these and that's fine, but I'm, I'm gonna just make myself bigger like this and we'll just practice. So, um, so more, everybody knows more. <laughs> this is the first great one to teach. <laughs> and um, something uh, I want to, oh, it's not on translation right now. Um, something I want to say about signing is that it is okay if your kiddo, after a while, starts signing more like this or like this or like this. <laughs> yes, uh, just like in talking, if our child says uh, cat, like cat, we would say, yes, cat. 
So it's important to repeat back or sign back in the correct form. Yes. And okay, so more. And then let's see, milk. Do you all know milk? <laughs> and I think some signs kind of make sense. Uh, sometimes some signs don't, but milk like you're milking a cow. <laughs> ah, una pregunta, señora Guadalupe. Ah, es que yo no le escucho nada a usted. Sí, ahora sí. Okay. Alrighty, so milk, more, let's say um, all done. You guys know that one. This is important for children when they are, you know, obviously they need to tell you when they are done, when they have had enough, when they don't want to eat anymore. So that's kind of like swooping it away. That's what I think, swoop it away. <laughs> and so I've seen kids sign all done in all different kinds of ways. This, you know, this, it's all fine. You just always sign back, all done, right? All done. All right, I'm going to share my PowerPoint again. Oh, and ball. I forgot to tell you about ball. <laughs> okay, can anybody, you can probably know that, Christara. Yeah, ball. So you're just holding the ball. Ball. All right. Uh, and oh, and I also said for toddlers, for your, uh, for uh, Brittany and Isabel, the ones that have the three-year-olds, for toddlers, I wouldn't pick signs that they already have gestures for or they already have word approximations for. Yes, Guadalupe. I, I am. Oh, see, thank you. Uh, can you see translation now? Oh, okay. Yes. For toddlers, I'll say that again so you can see the translation. For toddlers, uh, I would recommend not picking signs that they already have gestures or words for. Um, I would pick signs that are new for them. Okay, the how to, here we go. <laughs> All right, so sign at the same time you say the word on a consistent basis. So this is the nuts and bolts right there. <laughs> Are you seeing translation, Guadalupe? Okay, everybody's picture is also blocking my. <laughs> so I. So every time you say a word, sign the word. Oh, do you want the ball? Are you all done? Do you want more? And you don't need to sign every word that you say. Just pick three or five words, maybe for the next few weeks to focus on and just sign that word. Um, and also, this is really important. Ask other caregivers in your child's life to do the same. So if they are with grandma on Friday or with a daycare provider on Monday, tell them, say, we're really working on the sign more when we're really working on the sign ball. Do you mind every time you say ball, just giving them that sign? Um, and then also, this is another note, uh, even if, if there are two communicators, two adults in your household, you can sign between the two of you and your child can observe that. So if your child's right in front of you and you have your sister next to you, mommy and aunt can sign together. Oh, can I have the ball? So just they're seeing the signs more and more. And some, a lot of parents ask me, how long will it take for my child to start signing? And really this is just dependent on a lot of factors but it can take weeks or months or sometimes just days. But really the best thing that you can remember is repetition, repetition, repetition. <laughs> so if you are working on the word ball or milk or hat or whatever you're working on, 
let them see and hear you say that a lot throughout the day. And also a good tip is to make up fun songs with the sign. So if you are teaching them the word hat, you can come up with a fun song. I love hat, 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 hat is blue. Just whatever, lots of repetition because songs provide that. They re provide repetition and that fun bonding between the parent and child. Let's see here. Una de las señales que me va a costar un poquito es que como eso de que dice más, Él es la que usa cuando él está como nervioso, que se quiere disculpar y es la que él usa para des, decirme que, que lo siente. Hmm. to change his mind. Okay. So maybe we can work on different words, such as really highly motivating words, like his favorite food or his favorite activity. Does he like cars or what is his favorite activity that he just loves and spends a lot of time with? Isabel. A él le gusta mucho correr y le gusta jugar mucho con lo que son los dinosaurios. Um, él, como, él le gusta mucho buscar cosas uh, como las piedritas, todo eso. Entonces, pues uh, con eso es con lo que estamos trabajando ahorita uh, con su vocabulario. Yes. No. Gotcha. Wonderful. Okay. So dinosaurs and rocks. Let's see when you're looking for dinosaurs, you can, this is the sign for dinosaur <laughs> dinosaur or the D. Yeah. This is like, there's two different ones D or I've seen it like this too. <laughs> um, big dinosaur, um, want, want dinosaur looking, looking. Um, these are some really great words to start off because they're very meaningful to your child. Uh, the first one is mom and dad. Uh, mom is like this and dad is like this. And one way I kind of remember them is I think typically mothers are a little shorter <laughs> and fathers are a little taller. So that's how I remember how to do mother down here and father up here by the head. And grandma is like a mom, but it's a little bounce, grandma. And I like it too, because grandma has two syllables, grandma. And so this kind of has two bounces, grandma. And then grandpa or papa is up here, but grandpa. And there is a very sweet song on a uh, set called Baby Signing Time that says, mom has a mom and she's my grandma. Dad has a dad and he's my grandpa. It's very sweet. It was in my head for many months when I, when my little one was two. <laughs> um, okay, we did more. Eat. That's one of the ones that makes sense. Eat. A drink. Stop. <laughs> yes, Cristara knows stop. <laughs> All done. And then help. And help is one that children, it's kind of involved. It has this hand and you're kind of like helping this hand up and then you have the thumbs up. So there's a lot of different uh, variety in the way that children produce help. I will try to keep it on the PowerPoint. So um, so some children, you know, have just the hands like this or just one hand and it's all okay as long as you show them the correct way when you say it. 
And when you show them the correct way, we wouldn't want to say, oh, no, it's not help. We would just say, if they said help, we'd say, yes, help. So you pretend that they said it the exact right way <laughs> and model back correctly. Um, some nouns that might be really common, a uh, dog, you uh, kind of like pat your leg, like you're saying, come here, dog. And I've seen it. There's two, you can go pat leg and then snap, or you can just pat your leg. It's easier for younger kids. Just a quick dog. And then cat is the whiskers. Cat, gato. Does anybody have a gato? <laughs> Uh, bird, 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 chair or sit, potty, potty is the letter T and you just kind of shake, <laughs> uh, bath, so I think of bath like you want to clean yourself, right, so you're kind of cleaning bath, and these are words that, you know, you do throughout the day, so Let's go to the bath. Going is just pointing to where you want to go. Let's go to the bath. Let's go to the potty. <laughs> Let's go to the chair. <laughs> uh, water. Water is a W, like agua. And it bounces this on your face right here, water or by your mouth. And car. You're driving a car. <laughs> a lot of it makes sense. And then baby. Can you all guess what baby is? Or show me if you know. Baby. Yep. Chris Starr has it. Baby, baby. And I'm also going to show us later a great website that you can pull up on your phone um, anytime you want to know what a sign is. The visual dictionary. Uh, the next ones are really social words. So do you guys remember all done? <laughs> again, again, you just like, if you want to do it again, again. Is everybody seeing me okay? I'm big enough. Okay. Uh, my, your, my turn, your turn, and your turn. Uh, please is a flat hand and you kind of go in a circle. Please. And it's very similar to sorry, but sorry is a closed fist like this. Please and sorry. But for our little ones, that takes some time. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. Some action words go, pointing to what you want to go to. Up, down, <laughs> simple. Open. This is a great one because how many times a day are we opening something? So every time you open a door, every time you open a bag, you can model that open and then open the door. Open and then open the box. Uh, and then stop. We did that one already and sit. <laughs> And one that I like using a lot is teaching children opposites. So when you're playing with toys and there's a toy that's very big, or if you're looking at pictures and you're looking at a big elephant, you could say big and show them big with your hands and then point out the small mouse, small, big, small. And if you're in the bath and you're running the water, you can turn on the hot water. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. And then, oh, that's better, cold, cold. That's hot, that's cold. So not only are you teaching your children wonderful description words, but you're teaching them the importance of what, um, the idea of opposites. And inside and outside, whose child, I mean, I know you all only have seven month old and nine month old, but what about the three month old children? Whose children loves to go out, love to go outside? <laughs> My child loves being outside. So out was one of her first words, out, outside, and then inside. The last so one. I, 
Can I ask a question? Sorry. Yes, please. Your, is it on your shoulders outside? Does it have to be on out. your shoulder? No, just, just kind of up here. Just like, oh, like up. Our shoulder. Okay. Shoulder out. Yeah, no, that's okay. It can be. If, if you want to do it on your shoulder, that I, I've just seen it like this okay. outside. Yeah. Yeah. I see a lot of variations. That's why I just yeah. I want to yeah. be as possible. As for long him. as they're consistent for for your family. Mm -hmm. And then clean, clean. Maybe after you wash your hands or when you're in the bath, we're getting clean. And I just kind of think of that like you're cleaning off a counter, making something, wiping something away, wipe clean. And, and dirty is an interesting one. It's down here. Yeah. <laughs> dirty. Does anybody have a trick for remembering dirty? <laughs> just one of those funny ones. So, um, see here my next I think of it almost like it, it's smelly so I, uh... oh <laughs> smelly yeah <laughs> dirty <laughs> there you go <laughs> all righty some important tips here so like I said sign approximations are typical just like word approximations so that's when they get it really close but not quite there accept your child's version of their sign but repeat back the sign and word the correct way just like talking praise your child's approximations and attempts to communicate with smiles enthusiasm and quickly give them what they are asking for so this will teach your child that when I do something, I get something that will teach them that communication dance. So if they want more, if they say more, give them that cracker right away. More, more, say it, sign it right when they do it back a couple times. And then they realize, oh, I just did something to get something. Wow. You know, and then they'll hopefully do that more and more. <laughs> And be patient and persistent. So it can take a lot of time, but just keep signing while you're saying those words and have fun with this amazing visual communication. And what I was talking about before is called handspeak.com. It's a wonderful resource to have saved on your phone, saved on your computer. You can quickly, excuse me, quickly pull it up and type in the word that you're wondering about and I will show you what it looks like this is not hand speak this is baby signing time thank god <laughs> okay And speak about come. I'll just type it in. Okay, can everybody see this website? Okay, so like I said, it's just the visual dictionary, and you click in any word. So let's click in cracker because this is a word that. So cracker is an interesting sign. We hold up our elbow and kind of tap our elbow. Cracker. <laughs> cracker. Um, can anybody, would anybody like to shout out a, any kind of word? <laughs> right. Toy. Toy. All right. Please, thank you. And it's so fast. It's just like you can do it in a second. That's what's so great about hand speak. Okay, gracias. Toy. So that's tricky because you have to kind of finger spell it. <laughs> um, play. That's one that I use a lot. Okay. Um, si sí, hay algunas palabras que sí entiendo. Y este, eso es lo que este, cuando ya es una conversación larga y como esto es de mucha importancia para mí, pues sí necesitaba yo la traducción, pero sí voy comprendiendo. Muchas gracias. Yes.
Oh. Right. But but single words are okay. And if your child is using single words, um, then we just start at the single word level. So yeah, okay, perfect. And let's see here. So that's handspeak.com. Highly recommend it. And you can pull it up anytime. And like I said ejemplo, earlier, una pregunta, Guadalupe, este, uh, para oh. aprender, para aprender este oh. lenguaje de señas como oh. las palabras que nos está enseñando, ¿dónde lo puedo aprender? Porque pues si ya estoy grabándome unas que estoy practicando ahorita, pero no, uh, no me voy a recordar de todo. Ajá. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Um, I, well, I also have a handout that I am happy to share with all of you that actually has the word and the visual, a picture of somebody doing the sign. And I debated putting it into the PowerPoint or not, and I decided not to, but I'm happy to email that to you. And then it's, it's just kind of like a visual reminder of you to you about what the signs look like. And I'm happy to email that to all of you if you would like to put your email in the chat. Um, and I'll put here email for visual signs, sign handout. And wonderful. Okay, the second thing, I mean, the last resource, second and last resource that I want to talk about today is baby signing time. And some of you may have heard of baby signing time, but I just have to pitch it real quick as an incredible program that uh, is, uh, has a lot of music, and it has <clears throat> video of children and babies making the signs in their natural environment. And so babies and children love watching other children. <laughs> uh, I feel like they're drawn to it rather than um, car even more so than cartoons and things like that. They're looking at the baby's faces and looking at the kids' faces. And so it is <clears throat> something that we have in our library at Early Childhood Cares, and we can loan it out to families. Um, we can also let you know where to buy your own copy if you would prefer that. But we do have some at the library you can ask your service coordinator about and she can loan them out to you. Um, and I just wanted to show you a little bit about baby signing time here. The first volume is called Eat and Drink. And there is a seven minute free preview online. There's not a lot of their previews online because they want to make sure that people aren't just watching them for free, but there is a seven minute preview that I wanted to show you. Has anybody heard of baby signing time? Heather, have you heard of it? Oh, Brittany has. Okay, cool. Have you, has your child watched it yet, Brittany? Yeah. Does he like it? Loves baby signing time. All right. <laughs> yes. Love. That's a great sign. Love. Okay. I want to show you this little preview. I want to make sure everybody can see it. Can everybody see this eat and drink sign? Eat and drink. And thumbs up. Did everybody hear that? Eat and drink. No, you did not. Okay. So I, oh, thumbs up. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that I share my So there's your little preview of baby signing time. <laughs> uh, so if, are there any questions that you all have for me? Thank you so much for coming. And I hope this just kind of inspires you to learn some more signs and start signing more with your children. And mm -hmm.